Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another edition of Quincy Beolves Let's Play and today we are playing the Pokemon trading code game online. Of course this is not just Quincy Beolves Let's Play, we, this is also Sean's Ramblings. Uh, we knocked out one of our objectives last time and so now we need to uh, complete the other one. So uh, let's do this. Um, so last time we were talking about uh, so on this arc we're talking about storytelling storytelling types and so we have uh, uh, folk tales legends and myths and so in the last episode we asked what happens if you put them all together and made it for the digital age you come with video games so as a designer as a game designer you want to make a good myth which is your narrative that creates a fun space for your uh, folklore to take place and then a legend for what people get out of it and put into it but there's another kind that is important to this Ooh. The other thing that is important to all of this is the idea of what happens next. So you've created a fun game, people love it, so wha what do people want to do next when they find something that they absolutely love? Well, they don't just go like, well that was fun, they tell other people about it. And this telling other people is a shared experience of play. And so, uh, this new, this extra new type of storytelling is called a let's play, and that's what we will do. And that's what we are doing now. I am sharing this play experience. Oops, sorry, I am sharing sharing this play experience of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online that I am having with you guys, and I am making sure to incorporate all three parts of storytelling to help prove my point. So for example, we have the mythos that is uh, Pokemon. Everyone that knows Pokemon loves Pokemon. Well should. Should. And so uh, we have and so I'm 24, I played the card game when it first came out in America with uh, Wizards, and so... Here I... Oh dear. Oh dear. Maybe that was a bad choice. And so... Here I am playing the code game with and for you all, but it's not exactly for you all because it's a let's play. I am inviting you to sit right down on the couch right next to me or be like my cat and then sit on my lap, but uh, only my cat is allowed to do that. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I like to distract you while you're trying to rest on me. Ooh, um, it's my turn. Um, uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just do another pummel. Okay, so that's not too bad. And so, uh, yeah, so I'm essentially inviting you all onto like onto the couch right next to me to share this game experience with me and so uh, yeah it is another form of story storytelling where I I'm sharing this story with you of my experience and now it is becoming our experience of storytelling and that yeah this was not a good idea for me to do yeah okay not a good idea okay that, I'll do it one more time hopefully that that will be good 
Uh, yeah, okay. So now I'll be at 20 for the next level. And then I can bring that to 70. And then that'll be good. It, the only problem is that next set they have an Otakuno. With a muscle band and three water energies. And so they just need one more to be able to wipe out all of my guys. Yeah, that's not going to be good. So, anyways, um, yes, let's plays. I am saying, come play this game with me on my couch so that we can be good friends. This is very informal. I mean, this is literally a blanket wrapped around my shoulders because I, I don't feel like getting up. And it's kind of cold, and uh, the heater makes too much noise, so... It, it's nothing professional. I don't come up here with like a script or anything. So, oh jeez. And this distraction that I have is, yeah, it's very informal. It's traditional because we're building, we're building on the myth of Pokemon for this future experience of me losing terribly. Oh god. Um, oh, now you come, Croc, Croc or Rock. Uh, and so let's see uh, da, 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 da. Look, looking for a diglet. it's not gonna help me too much but oh dang um right okay so okay yeah Yep, that, that, that's what I was thinking. So, uh, this new form of storytelling. It's l Let's Plays, Let's Plays. Uh, we have very... Oh, I don't like this. Uh, yeah, I don't like this at all. Um, yeah, so every experience of a Let's Play, because these are posted online for everybody to see, is very different from each other. And so you have, uh, many people playing the same thing with very, very different experiences. And... So you have many iterations of every let's play there is. And that's what makes it fa oh. Well, that's it for me. So you have many iterations of the same game with different experiences. Oh. And so they're all different. They're all strikingly different. Uh, every version of every play, uh, because everyone has their own way to play. And there are people that will go to every single different types type of video of the same video game and just watch a bunch of people play the same game because they love that myth and they just love that game and story and myth and everything so much that they will go through all of that to watch it. And so it's really fascinating. Um, I think I might have time for one more. Just need to take out one more person with the dark Pokemon and that and then I'll be good. So, um, yeah. So let so uh, my example of the let's play is I want to include the facial cam even though I feel really awkward with it because it's it I'm showing you the legend of me playing a game I mean you have a Christmas tree behind me so you know what time frame this is uh, this is a in December uh, you can see the kitchen behind me so this is a very small. Uh, apartment that I live in. Uh, you see my cat interrupting me. It's... Ooh. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll give you this. And this. So it is... So you see the legend of me playing this game. It is very, uh... Uh, me showing you like this game uh, yeah I don't know how to explain it any better when I'm not like sitting down trying to think of like articulate ways to put it on paper I don't do like I do best when it comes to writing things on paper compared to other ways of telling people information <coughs> but no, that, that that's just me. So, what is, like, arguably one of the most famous Let's Plays? Uh, arguably one of the most famous Let's Plays is the Leroy Jenkins, where you have the myth that is the world of Warcraft. You have uh, the play of... You have the folklore and the play of raids in World of Warcraft, and you have... Uh, And you have the, leg the legend of everyone interacting with each other in the game, and then Leroy not being there for it, and then uh, the chaos ensues. And so the storytelling that is Let's Plays is posting it online for everyone to watch multiple times. And so that's, that, that's just how storytelling is. And so, you have, uh, and so I'm, I'm sure everyone has watched Leroy Jenkins. I feel like I didn't say that in the beginning, like, that, that was the video. Like, maybe I completely glazed over it. But, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I did. I don't know. I don't have the best memory of many things. You Okay. Did you have a little snack in the kitchen? You doing okay? Okay. So... Yeah... I think that's... Good? I don't know. So... Ah! Ah! Uh, sorry everyone, she uh... She stepped on the cords of my headphones. And so, oh yeah, that doesn't look good on the wave thingy boo of the audio track. I'm going to have to uh, fix that in the future. So, yeah. End post. Oh, pet the kitty. Oh, ho, ho, ho. who's happy? You're happy. So, uh, you have folklore, you have myth, you have legends. And then when you combine all those for digital society, you have video games. And when you want, and when you have that digital society wanting to share these experiences with each other, you have Let's Plays. And so as a game designer, you should be striving for people to have compelling folklore within the space that is the narrative. And uh, the legend of what they bring in and take out, and then you. Uh, but what's even extra is if you have all of these so good that you want them to share their experiences with everybody else in the world. You're gonna, you want them to have less place. You want a lot of people to have less place because then they'll be sharing their experiences with many people over and over again and it's really exciting like it's super exciting Ooh, huh well I feel kinda bad that I just sent that out to die then well um yeah I can work on it that's fine it's fine oh can't do anything yet so yeah, and I think that's, that's like the super quick gist of it all. Like, there's more to talk about. If you want me to go in more, more in depth, then I can, like, write a script and do this more formally for you. 
but yeah like, like with anything that i talk about or anything that i say if you would like me to go more in depth with the script and tell you more of why something is super duper exciting because lots of these things are like really exciting uh just say so in the comment section below i mean i'd love to tell everyone why a bunch of this stuff is really exciting but I honestly don't know if there's anything specifically that interests everybody. But uh, I guess we will find out when these videos go up. And then you guys will be like, ooh, can I learn about this fancy thing? And they'll be like, yes, you can. If you want to learn about it, here you go. Here's the information for all of that. And so, yeah. Um, hmm. I can do that. Uh, put that there. Put this here. Do that. That and that. So, yeah. Um, good stuff. Yeah. Um,. Uh, bah, bah, bah. I just want to kill one or knock out one Pokemon. That's it. Aha. Uh -huh. Why you gotta be doing. Ah, uh, why you gotta be doing this, Piper? Uh, stepping on all of my headphone cords. All one of them. This does not look good. I'm gonna have to throw something out there for him to chew up. Uh, until I can get a stronger person out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Yep. Well, um... So... Yeah. Oh, jeez, I always, like, get sidetracked somewhere and lose my train of thought. Happens like all the time. It's so terrible. I'll I'll hopefully get better at that in the future. But for now, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Hmm. Very strange of me. Strange indeed. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you? You're resistant to dark. Oh. That's not good. That is especially not good for what I'm trying to do. <laughs> well. Yep. Okay. This is not going to go well for me. I'm kind of doomed, but I will not forfeit, because forfeiting is bad in this game. So, yeah. So, uh, instead of having, like, the long intro thing that I would normally do, uh, or the long outro thing that I would normally do, uh, this episode I'm just going to sign out near the end of this battle. So, we talked about, uh, folklore's different- oh, that was it. Okay. Whoops. So we talked about folklore's different types of storytelling. Uh, the three main types, folk tales, myth, and legends. And what happens when you combine all of them, you get into a digital culture, you get a video game. But not just that, uh, also if you- uh, you also want to have your video game be so good that uh, gamers want to share it with everybody else. And so that shared experience becomes a let's play. There are many things that could be considered let's plays. I will leave that as a cliffhanger in case anyone wants to know about that. Uh, just like with everything else. I mean, I, I kind of just... Did, this was all just intro overviews of stuff. And so, yeah, uh, I can't believe I'm going to be uh, teaching a focus group in the spring quarter because I'm terrible with these things. 
I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, practicing at home. <laughs> so um, if you're interested in any of that, the anything that I talked about, if you want to know more about anything that I talked about, uh, say so in the comments below. Anything that I talked about in this arc, do it. I encourage it. I want I want to talk about stuff. But uh, if you want me to have it be like a formal script that I talk over stuff playing the game, then uh, you're going to have to specify that you want that. Otherwise, it'll just be ramblings on, and it probably won't be any good. But, uh, yeah. So, I will be seeing you guys next time. I don't know what the next set or arc will be on. But uh, they, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fun. Yeah, it might be more of my religious study stuff, like more in depth. So, uh, or maybe game stuff. Who knows? So I will be talking to all of you next time on Quincy Bjorn's Let's Plays. I will see you there. Fly high and dream big. <laughs>